I have to say that YouTuber fight card this past weekend was the final confirmation that I needed that I'm never watching a YouTube fight card ever again. I am never watching a fight card that includes YouTubers and influencers ever again. Ever. I was so happy I didn't have to stream that shit. I was so happy I didn't have to watch that shit on stream. I swear to God, it was so fucking shit. One of the worst, one of the worst bits of content I have ever watched. And don't take that as me being cocky. I watch a lot of shit fucking content. I consume a lot of terrible media in my eyes, right? I'm just permanently online. Just so I'm not better than anybody. But that was so, so bad. I don't know what to say. That was so bad. So bad. And the reason why it was bad was this. And I think it's partly my fault, right? I got duped by the marketing. I got duped by the promotion. I got duped by the conflict. I got duped. I got tricked. I got scammed. Like a Romanian lady selling you an iPhone on the street for £10 and you open it as a brick, right? I got fucking duped. Fair. I got duped. But now it's lesson learned. You're not duping me again. Nah, nah, nah. You, you can't stop. You can't get me. If you know the meme. You can't trick me. You can't trick me. I'm not getting duped again. Never again. You're not duping me. I swear to God. You're not duping me. This guy, especially this fight. This guy, Logan Paul, made the entire run-up of the fight defending my wife's honor. This guy's harassing her. Dylan Dennis is a creep. He's a predator. I'm defending my wife. All of this really noble, defending, sappy, simpy shit that he was doing. That's got some relevance to it. Then he gets into the ring and he can't take out a guy that is not known for striking. A guy that can barely box, who barely threw any punches. Logan Paul had no ability to get that guy out of the ring, despite having a very strong reason as to why he wanted to knock him the fuck out. He couldn't do it. And it was awful when he tried to do it. Awful. Yes, he landed some punches. Yes, some of them looked kind of hard. Yes, he may have wobbled Dylan here and there, but he didn't turn his lights off. He didn't even knock him down on the floor. Not once. Absolutely terrible. And Dylan Dallas' performance as well, shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking. You can't talk with that smack. Get into the, get into the ring. <clears throat> Sorry. And then essentially just cover up the entire time and try and do the fucking, what's that? The fucking Philly shuffle. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is this shit? I was so happy I didn't pay for that stuff, man. And yes, I did illegally stream it. And I'm happy I did. Whoever you were out there that was peer-to-peer -peer streaming that shit, I appreciate you. But what the fuck was that? What was that? Someone tell me what that was. Yo, big up, Abbey Martins. Appreciate you. Agree never buying YouTuber fighters again. I swear to God. What was it? Tell me what it was it. Big up, Abbey Martinez. What was it? And before... You remember before, when they used to do YouTuber fights, they'd have professional fighters on the same card. I wonder if the reason why they stopped doing that is because the professional fighters don't want to be associated with this clown show. Because production-wise, good. No, whatever, right? It's a show, right? It's good, full. It's well-lit, well-produced. They've got the post doing the thing. That big zoo guy, I'm not really a fan of. There's something about his voice and his accent. It kind of reminds me of the guys that act on Top Boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it feels a bit too try-hard. I know he speaks like that, but there's something about his voice just annoys me. So that whole lineup of characters trying to, you know, make it into some sort of thing was like annoying me. So I had to put that thing on mute every time they came on camera. But again, what well produced, the sound was good. Bloody blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. But the quality of the fights... The quality of the fights. Huh? What the fuck was that? What was that? Tell me. What was that shit? Did you see that? Did you see what they were doing in there? Did you see fucking KSI with his fucking hands up doing star jumps before every time he was punching? Did you see KSI doing star jumps every time he was about to punch? Star jumps. Star jumps. Why was KSI doing star jumps? 
What was KSI looking like Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in the fucking ring? What was that fucking kick karate thing going on there? Please someone tell me. Same move every time. Punch, lean in, overhand right. Double jab, lean in, overhand right. Jumping jab. What the fuck is that? That shit can work outside of a nightclub when somebody's lit off a couple of eight balls and some beer. But in an actual boxing ring against a trained fighter, if Tommy Fury was good, he will just duck that, bang, right hook, you're out. The same move every single time. The Tommy Fury KSI fight. <sighs> Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. The Tommy Fury KSI fight might be the most horrible fight I've watched in my entire life. Point blank period. Tommy Fury should hang his head in shame. You cannot jump up and be happy about that performance. That was up there with fucking Brendan Schaub when he did that fucking metamorphosis. You remember he did that jujitsu fight and he just shut that guy down. He didn't engage. That was the same level of fighting that he did against fucking KSI. Fair enough, KSI was terrible, but at least KSI was trying to knock Tommy Fury's head off his shoulders, provide some level of entertainment, go in an actual fight. Tommy Fury wasn't even sticking the jab, sticking behind the jab. Every time they got close, locked in, locked in. Yes, he was inflicting a bit more damage on the inside. Yes, he maybe landed more of the majority of the punches, but still, shocking, shocking, bro, shocking. What the fuck was that? Tommy Fury, KSI, what was that? Tell me, someone tell me. I was embarrassed for Tommy Fury screaming and shouting like he did something. I was also embarrassed for KSI thinking he actually won. Having pride in that type of fighting, I'm embarrassed for you. I'm embarrassed for both. Tommy Fury jumping up and down like he won a belt. Embarrassing. KSI being pissed and, oh my God, I'm going to appeal. <laughs> Yo, big up at Ricky Pitcher. Appreciate you, brother. The only good YouTuber fight was Boogie versus Wings. Yeah, it actually was. Uh, you know what? Actually, Ricky Victor, you're actually right. That Wings Boogie fight was pretty decent, especially for Wings. Wings actually, Wings actually looked pretty decent. I wonder, did Wings land more punches against Boogie than Dylan Dennis landed against Logan Paul? Probably, right? Probably. Wings of Redemption, 400 pounds. Boogie, 500 pounds. But both can't fight. One of them had shorts that didn't fit properly. They probably landed more punches than Dylan Dennis. That was embarrassing. And you know what the most embarrassing part about that Dylan Dennis Logan Paul fight was the end. When he tried to get the guy in a fucking jumping, whatever guillotine thing it was, didn't sink it improperly, slipped off, and then got punched in the face on the way down. Dylan Dennis tried to go for the jugular, tried to create a bit of controversy at the end, and choke Logan out. And he couldn't even manage to choke him out. He couldn't even be a scumbag properly at the end there. Then when the security, again, big up Logan Paul's security, that guy deserves a raise. He jumped in instantly. He jumped in before, but he jumped in again at the end and made sure to get right in front of Dylan. Dylan tried to punch him. He ducked that shit super easy. There is something to be said about, yo, big up Abby Martinez. Appreciate it, brother. Logan and Dillian should be ashamed. Al talk no violence. There is something big up. I'm about to appreciate it for the super chat, brother. Thank you. Of course, they should be ashamed. There's something to be said, right? And I think um, KSI did mention it on his um, Twitter. KSI was like, oh, yeah, this dork or this geek nerd guy who had no boxing experience went toe to toe with somebody that's a, le a, le a legit boxer and stuff. I should be proud, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I definitely think there's a lot of pride to be had if you're KSI and you were somebody that used to stream, didn't really care about boxing any so or anything physical in that way, and then you suddenly went from not knowing how to fight at all to now being somebody that can actually fight in a boxing ring and could probably, you know, compared to regular guys walking the street, he could probably beat up most people, right? Cool, because you have some semblance of training. No problem. But what I realized quite quickly was that entertainment level for us spectators. Watching people who don't know what they're doing or who are amateurs in what they're doing on this type of stage isn't fun. It might be fun in your local gym to watch somebody having a fight and a scrap, but there's nothing really fun about having people that have just learned how to fight fight at this kind of level. It does nothing to you, really. 
It does nothing for you. It's not entertaining. It's not fun. You don't learn anything. It's just a waste of time for everybody included. Like, why are we watching this stuff? People that are like severely mismatched, people that aren't that great. It's honestly shocking. But the most person I feel like should be really embarrassed is Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury actually has aspirations to be pro. Getting in that ring and letting it get so close with a YouTuber like KSI, who has no aspirations to become pro, should be the most embarrassing thing. He does not look good at all. Compared to his fucking brother also, Tyson Fury, he looks shocking. He may have the better build. He may look aesthetically more pleasing in the face. But when it comes to boxing, he's not even close. He might even be worse fighter than his dad, John Henry, or John Fury, sorry. Um, put some respect on, on Papa Fury's name. He might be a worse fighter than his dad. His dad's got a pretty, a pretty sketchy record when it comes to some of the gypsy fights that he's been involved in, or bare knuckle fights, whatever you want to call them. Tommy Fury is really bad. If people think Anthony Joshua is overrated, I don't know what this guy is. If you think Anthony Joshua has got to where he's got to because of his looks, because of the Olympic performance and shit, Tommy Fury is really, really bad. The fact that he let the fight go to a decision, the fact that people online think that KSI was robbed, that is a bad indictment on Tommy Fury. He should be very, very annoyed at his performance. That's a performance that should really make you want to change everything and approach fighting differently or be humble enough to be like, you know what? It's not for me. Or if he wants, which would be really admirable, to say, you know what? I'm going to do the YouTube thing. Because he's always saying he wants to go pro. If he wants to go pro, no. If you want to do the YouTube thing, okay, no problem. But me personally, me, Agostino, I'm never watching a YouTube fight card ever again. I actually like boxing. I actually like UFC and MMA. I actually like watching people at the highest levels perform. It's quite... It's good to watch, right? Even football. I played it at, at, at a normal level, not decent. A normal level. Sunday League isn't anything to shout home about. But I love the game. I've watched it all my life. I get it. But I'm not subjecting myself to watching people who are no good, who are no better than me after 30 days of doing a group point Muay Thai class. I don't give a fuck. I'd still perform to the same level as these guys, but I'm not getting you to buy my pay-per-view. I wouldn't even dare to even offer that as a fucking suggestion. So I'm not wasting my time ever again watching this shit. It honestly pissed me off. So much so, I didn't even watch what the fucking um, decision was. I found out the next day. When the fight ended, I smashed my laptop down. I did this. I was watching it on my, on my, on my air, and I did this, right? I was watching it. Let me get the fucking thing back on the screen. I was watching the fight like that. It was on. It didn't go. And I just went. That's how angry I was. I did this. I'm never doing it again. Never doing it again. Never watching a YouTube fight card ever again. I swear my life. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Absolute. And they're saying online now, oh, the, the pay-per-view made 1.3 million buys. Congratulations. That's the last time you're getting my attention. You're getting my eyes. Never again. You're getting my attention, my interest. I'm not interested. I don't give a fuck. What a waste of time. Honestly. Shocking all around. Absolutely shocking. Hate it all. <sighs> anyway. That's a rant over. Rant over that one. But I fucking hated every part of it. I swear to God. I hated it all. Hated everything about it. Can't believe I spent some time watching that shit. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway. Whatever. Moving on. Um, moving on. 